What's going on everybody? So behind me is a house that my partner just purchased. And in this video, we're gonna be doing a before and after tour. And I'm also gonna break down the deal, show you how I found the deal, how my partner financed it, the renovations, and how you can find deals like this as well. All right, so as you see from the outside, it needs a little bit of curb appeal. So some of the things we're gonna do, we're not gonna cut down the tree completely, but we're gonna remove some of the branches. Uh, we may or may not get rid of the bush. We also need to do a little something with this retaining wall. I don't know if we necessarily need to replace it completely, but we need to probably shape it up a little bit. As you can see, the neighbor's retaining wall looks very nice. Has a little bit of wood rot right there. We'll probably just redo this entire front piece and also replace the lights. Windows are going to be replaced. This property is located in Delray, Alexandria, a quaint and eclectic neighborhood just a few blocks away from the main avenue that has coffee shops, restaurants, boutique stores, and more. You're also just minutes to Old Town, Metro Stations, DCA Airport, Amazon HQ2, and downtown DC. The way I found this deal was it was actually on the MLS and originally listed at 620,000. However, because there was only two bedrooms, one bath, and needed some work, I was able to negotiate them down almost $100,000, and my partner ended up buying it at 510. He used a hard money lender to finance this deal so it could close quickly. And if you need a recommendation on hard money lenders around the DC area, send me a message. Okay, so the interior is actually pretty nice. You know, this was actually a rental property for a long time, so it's not like some of these properties that are a complete gut job. One thing to note, they have the radiator heat, and in this neighborhood, a lot of people actually like that, and I'll show you downstairs, but there's actually a brand new boiler, so that's about, you know, five, six, seven thousand dollars right there. And what's nice, so you have the cozy living room, and then you have a small dining room. You know, it's not huge, but you can put a little table here. You know, this is obviously not good for like five or six people living here, but for, you know, maybe a couple or, you know, two or three people, it's not bad. The kitchen we are going to completely redo. We might be able to open this up, I'm not sure yet, but right now the way it's set up is not, it's not terrible, but it's not ideal. It could definitely be improved on. And let me know what you think you would do with the kitchen in the comment section below. But we obviously need some type of like pantry space and then, you know, I don't know how we're gonna be able to fit a stove, as well as the sink, refrigerator, everything. So we're gonna have to get pretty creative. So this property is actually just a two bedroom, one bath house, and it's just under 800 square feet. So really to get the full uh, best resale value, we're gonna have to add the second bathroom. And as we come up here, we can see, you know, this bathroom's not bad. I mean, you can see it could be used as a rental property, which is what it was. You know, you have to replace the window. Um, but we're probably gonna fully gut this. I think my contractor, or my, my partner who's doing the work, he said he's gonna keep the tub. It's one of those really heavy, like cast iron ones, and they're actually pretty nice. So you can kind of like refurbish it, and it's not too expensive to do that. Here's the guest bedroom. And so this is, you know, it's a smaller bedroom, but it'd be perfect for an office, or, or just, you know, a second bedroom. And what's nice about this house, you have so much green everywhere. It's like everywhere you look. And I'll show you the backyard, but the backyard is, is, is an oasis, basically. You see a lot of listing agents, you know, always say, oh, backyard oasis. But this, this backyard actually does have the potential to be an oasis. So here's the second bedroom. And uh, we're going to sand this off, base the radiators, and then just put them back in there. And they don't take up too much space, and a lot of people like the radiator heat, so it shouldn't be an issue. If we were gonna replace this and just do central uh, heating, because there's already central cooling set up, but if we were to do central heating, because this house is so small, to run the ductwork would be really difficult and it would actually kind of take into some of the living room space. So heading down into the basement. And this basement has a lot of potential because the ceiling height is actually right at about seven feet. So it's, it's, it's seven feet is pretty much the requirement for a legal bedroom. Now what we'd have to do is we'd have to do some type of egress window, which usually costs you know around six or seven thousand uh, dollars to do that. And sometimes doing an egress can open up a whole nother can of worms. So we might just leave it the way it is. And then if someone in the future wants to maybe Airbnb it or just you know have it as more of an official bedroom, you can still use it as a bedroom. It's just you can't technically call it a bedroom. Uh, they could do that. So here's a perspective on how high the ceiling height is. It's, it's not bad at all. You know, we have to put some floors on it and everything, but uh, it's, it's a pretty good size. 
And what we're gonna do down here is we're gonna put a, a second bathroom down here to make it a full bathroom. Really to get the best resale value, you're gonna have to have a second bathroom down here, a second full bathroom. So what's great about this, this boiler right here, is almost brand new. I think it's like a year or two old and boilers can last like 30, even like 50 years. So we were gonna do central uh, heating and cooling, but because we have a brand new boiler, this thing costs almost like $5,000, plus probably another you know thousand or two to actually install. Then we're gonna have washer and dryer down here. But I think this basement's gonna turn out really well. It's gonna be a cool place to hang out and everything. So let's go check out the backyard. So this thing, is going to be amazing once it's done you know we're going to obviously going to cut back some of the branches my partner was talking about you know having like backyard yoga back here this deck it's not terrible but he's going to put treks on it so it's going to be a nice trex deck cut back the branches there's like a million mosquitoes back here but this place would be perfect for someone that has like a dog or like kids or anything really you know just a cool place to hang out in the backyard and if you look on hgtv and you see some of these like backyard oasises and backyard uh, designs. Someone could get pretty crazy back here and make this thing look nice. So you can't really see the roof, but we're gonna end up replacing the roof. The roof should, it, since it's a small townhouse, the roof should only be about like five or six thousand. Actually, that would be the retail price. My contractor, since he owns the contracting company, he can get it done for a lot less expensive than that. So that's the before tour, and if you can guess the final renovation cost of this project, I will Venmo you $50. What's up everybody? So the house is finally renovated and let's go take a tour. To start with, the retaining wall was completely replaced. So you can see it's nice and new. We also put on a blue or turquoise or whatever color door that is. It's kind of, Delray is kind of an artsy community. So I think this door looks pretty nice. Let me know what you think about the door. We painted the shutters all new windows as well. And then we cut back some branches from this tree because this tree was kind of imposing on the house a little bit. And we did a brand new roof, which you can't really tell. All right, nice and warm in here. We got the property nicely staged and we kept the original hardwood floors. We just refinished them several times. We got the new recessed lights in here. And a tip for selling a property that's a little bit smaller, you always want to do staging and professional photography. It's going to look much smaller if you don't have furniture in here. So the kitchen was opened up. If you remember last time, it had uh, kind of like a wall right there. And we got the all new quartz and stainless steel. We even have this little ledge right here, more countertop space. We got some pantry or cabinets. Nice soft clothes. And somebody could set up a little dining room table here, or maybe they just eat out in the living room. One of my favorite parts is this little dishwasher. So it's very, a very small dishwasher, but it fits perfectly for this space. So let me know what you think about the kitchen, if you would have done anything differently, or you know, your thoughts, opinions, good or bad. Let's see what we got in the fridge. We've got a couple white claws in there. And let's go check out the backyard. Now it is like the middle of winter and it's kind of raining outside, but you can see how much potential it'll have. We got a brand new deck and the string lights right here. Summertime, this would be amazing if you have a dog or, I mean, just like to entertain. And you can actually see the bus stop on the main road right over there. And it's usually not the best selling point if you have like a bus stop right in front of your house, but if it's very close by, that's that usually helps. So I'm not trying to mess up my shoes, it just rained, but uh, this backyard has a lot of potential. You can put like a fire pit out here, you know, get it resodded. And then on this side, we put some gravel, the fence was redone, and it walks out to the front yard. Brand new heat pump, 
new windows like I mentioned, and a brand new roof and deck. Whoever buys this property is gonna be able to move right in without doing anything. Let's go check out the basement. Finishing a basement adds a ton of value and if you're selling a property with an unfinished basement, those are just significantly tougher to sell and they're gonna sell for significantly less. Even if it only costs, let's say 50K to renovate a basement, it might sell for like 100K less. Wow, look at that. So this could be great for, you know, just a place to hang out, but you could also probably put a bed right here. It's not gonna be a legal bedroom because the windows are just right, you know, you need to have an egress window, which we were thinking about doing, but it's definitely nice, a nice space to hang out or, you know, even rent it out, put a bed down here in-law suite, whatever you want to call it. Check out this closet. So we get a pretty good size closet for a bedroom. Then the bathroom turned out very nice. Nice tile work, little cutout, black fixtures. And check out this mirror and vanity. Got the upgraded vanity. This shower is also a pretty good size. As you can see, I'm like 6'2", there's still a decent amount of clearance here. And we also have laundry right here. That's the washer. Uh, there was a delay with the dryer, but we're gonna get that set up uh, right here. There, there's enough space for it. So let's go check out the bedrooms and the upstairs. Also, if you're interested in learning more about real estate investing or working together one-on-one, -on -one, check out the programs and mentorship options I have below. There's a link below, go check it out. So here's the view from the living room. That's actually like an animal hospital right there, Delray Animal Hospital. The house over there, actually it's two level house, is actually for sale at about 750. And it's only two bedrooms and one bath and a barely livable uh, basement. You can barely, you have to be like five feet tall to walk down there. However, you're only about like three or four blocks away from the main avenue in Delray, which is highly, highly <laughs> desirable. So there is one full bath upstairs and one full bath downstairs. Tell me what you think about the bathroom. We kept the original tub and just uh, resurfaced it. Vanity. And then we got views of the backyard. Look at this tile work. I think these floors give it a little extra pop. All right, so here's bedroom number one. Not a massive bedroom, but again, you're, you're buying this property for a location and you could easily have an office here. We also have the bed. If you didn't stage this room, it would look very small, but you can actually fit a decent amount of furniture in here. And you got the backyard view, and then you also have a view of uh, Route 1 over there, but you're not so close that you can really hear it too much. This closet. So this is the venting uh, for the HVAC which we had to do all brand new, but you still have a decent sized closet for a city. Now this is the master bedroom. Very good size. I think this is like a king or a queen. Let's check out the closet. And I'm kind of jealous of that yard right there. That's a lot of uh, real estate for this neighborhood. And what's great about this neighborhood is that there's no HOA and it's actually just the area in general is very Airbnb friendly. So I was looking at numbers. I think you could probably rent it out for somewhere around $250 every single night, uh, which is, is not bad. Check out this little closet right here. This property is currently on the market for 700,000, which for Delray, this is a two bedroom, two bath with that fully finished basement that could be used kind of as a bedroom. So this is a complete steal for Delray, especially with all the development going on in uh, Amazon headquarters, being close to the airport, Potomac Yard, Metro, everything like that. This is a complete steal for somebody. So let me know what you think about the renovation or if you're even interested in buying it and check out these before and after renovation videos right here.